This is the Canon 50mm f1.4 in an EF mount. The 1.4 normally retails for about 400 bucks. I picked this one up for just 75 because the autofocus just doesn't work. So we're gonna have to crack this open and dig into the autofocusing mechanism and see what's going on. Because when I do try to focus, I do get this mechanical hum, but I'm not getting any movement of the focus ring whatsoever. With those screws removed, we could take off the front section, followed by the zoom ring, then that little spacer washer. Flipping it over, we then got access to the bayonet, removing the bayonet, then removing the autofocus manual focus section, then removing the three ribbon cables on the motherboard, then the motherboard could come off. Now we wanted to get rid of those little set screws as well as the focus distance indicator. Then we could separate the inside from the outside of the housing. However, there was a little bit of glue, but with a little bit of force and delicacy, we we're able to get it separated. Inside, there were lots of cogs. We then get to see the motor. It was seized up. So after a little bit of love, we were able to get it moving again. This right here is the differential. It allows for manual override during autofocus. Get everything reassembled and slowly feed that back through, get it focused to the right distance so that I can fit the set screw back in place. Then put the focus distance indicator back in place. That works. Now the motherboard goes back on, remembering to be very delicate with those three ribbon cables. Then the screw. Just had to make sure the manual autofocus switch was in the right position before putting the casing back on. It works, that's great. Now the bayonet. Attaching the chip for the EF mount. Put a lens cap on there just to be safe so that we're not scratching anything. Flipping it over, you'll see here that there's those little grooves. They have to line up with the focusing motor to make sure everything is linked. Then obviously that front casing goes on and then give the manual focus a little bit of a turn to make sure that we're getting some indication, which we are. Now let's hook it up to the R6. We're getting focus and it's nice and quick. Perfect.